Mm. Yeah, I personally would not pay for this. Is that Rebecca's arm or is it the teacup? <laughs> Hello and welcome to part 3 of my Disneyland Paris May vlog series. Today's checkout day, we're checking out from Hotel Elysee, which has been a wonderful place to stay at. I really do enjoy this partner hotel. I've stayed here a couple of times now and I do actually have some dedicated videos about this hotel, so if you want to see the hotel in more detail, I'll leave the links down below. But yeah, it's currently about 10am, checkout is at 11 We are, you know, basically ready to leave now though, which is a bit sad, but oh well. It's mainly sad because it's my friend Rebecca's last day, she's leaving this afternoon. I think she needs to leave the parks at around maybe 3 o'clock, 3pm, so we do have a few hours in the parks together still. But yeah, the past few days have been so awesome you know just spending some time with my friend Rebecca who I've known for a long long time we've been friends for like over a decade at this point and we used to come to the Disney parks often like years ago and I hadn't seen her since pre-covid I think March of 2020 was the last time I saw her um, and uh, the last time I was in a Disney park with her would have been in 2017 in, in Disney World we went to Disney World together there are vlogs of that as well if you want to check them out but yeah I'm gonna go down in a second uh, Rebecca wasn't feeling too well actually this morning so we didn't go to the parks as early as we wanted to but I think that's really important if I think if you aren't feeling well I think you always need to prioritize your health so we'd set our alarms for like seven o'clock initially I think and she woke up and she was like yeah, I'm not feeling too well is it okay if we just lie down a little bit longer and I was like I don't mind at all I, I enjoy a lie down so yeah that's why we're only leaving to go to the parks now but like I said we've done basically everything that we want to do I think there's only a couple of other rides that Rebecca really wants to do and I want to do it with her Tower of Terror is one of them hopefully today will be the day we're definitely going to try our best to get on Tower of Terror anyway it has been quite busy the past few days and we don't really want to pay for premier access so we're gonna have to see but here's one last look at the room bye i will see you downstairs to get the bus to the park we are here now just outside the gates of the park we are currently queuing for the concierge the guest storage area which is located on the right hand side of the main entrance of the park so this is disneyland hotel over here as you can see these are some of the entrances and then this is guest storage but the key point is not everyone has access to this area of the entrance of the park so as you can see there's people waiting outside there are cast members checking people's tickets to know if they are allowed to actually come through the gates here and if they're allowed to use the guest storage here as well and this is actually something that I I believe has only changed recently in like the past few years or maybe post pandemic but right now as it stands you can only use guest storages at the parks if you're staying on Disney property so if you're staying in any of the official Disneyland Paris hotels not the partnered ones the actual official ones so like Santa Fe, Cheyenne, uh, Sequoia Lodge, Newport Bay, New York and the actual Disneyland Hotel as well as David Crockett Ranch or if you've got an annual pass but I believe only if you've got the two highest annual passes so if you've got Magic Plus or Infinity then you're allowed to come through but if you're staying off-site or if you have like the lowest annual passes then you can't actually come through the entrance of here and you can't use a guest storage either this is just something i thought i'd note because whenever i have come here to you know let leave my bag and stuff i have noticed a lot of people getting annoyed people who queue up thinking that they're allowed to come here and then the cast members tell them sorry unfortunately you can't i don't think it's a very well-known fact they do have some signage that says you know this is only for disneyland paris hotel guests and ap holders but some people just maybe walk past them without reading them and you know just ignore them or don't realize and then they get annoyed so this is your moment to kind of know this in case you're coming here and you think you can come here and maybe you're not staying on site uh, don't bother queuing here because it might just lead to disappointment if you're staying on Disney property though or if you do have an annual pass infinity or magic plus and you want to use this with infinity uh, annual pass uh, the luggage storage is free I think up to about three or four bags if I'm correct uh, with magic plus you do still have to pay it's about six euros for a big bag so six euros per, per bag if that makes sense which isn't too bad really it, it is worth the convenience of not having to go back to your hotel to get your bags it just means you get more time in the park on your last day. But yeah, time was as well. It's about 10 a.m. This is Rebecca. How are you? About half 10. Nice ears. Thank you for purchasing them. For <laughs> They're very cute. Yeah, they actually cute. do suit you very, very much. Yeah, thank you. Now that's also how cute is Rebecca's uh, bag. So you would have probably seen this if you've watched uh, our first day here. But yeah, very, very cute. And here we are. We are in the park, Main Street USA officially. Current time is 11 a.m. Um, the weather's a little bit colder and chillier than it has been the past couple of days, but I really like it actually. I was telling Rebecca this is actually probably my favorite type of weather in Disneyland Paris. It's the kind of weather that I associate with my Disneyland Paris trips when I came as a child as well. It would normally be quite cool. Not so cold that you're like freezing, but also not like hot as it was the past couple of days. And like, you know, we've, we've, we've had to put like sun cream on and things like that in the past couple of days. Sorry. And as we walk down Main Street USA, we can see that Dream and Shine a bit brighter is already happening by the car. So you can see by the fountains just doing their little dance and you can hear a little bit of the music which is such a cute way to enter the park.
Fantasyland now and there's Aura where you can see her walking past going towards the Princess Pavilion which is just over there one of the most popular attractions here has got a 150 minute long queue today just right now as it stands which is just the norm unfortunately so we've decided our first uh, ride of the day is going to be the teacups because it's got one of the shortest queues I think it's about a 10 minute queue just behind us over there teacups and I also I haven't done this ride in a long long time I don't think I've done it since before Covid and it's actually gone down to five minutes which is even better the teacups in Disneyland Paris is the most beautiful teacups I think just the way it's laid out with all the lanterns it being like one of the prime central parts of fancy land as well i think it's so cute so we are going into i'm letting rebecca choose our teacup for the day of course a minty green one that kind of matches her t-shirt is that rebecca's arm or is it the teacup <laughs> Frontierland, I bumped into the lovely Reese and Laura. Yeah, oh, where, where are you from? Uh, we're from Scotland, from Aberdeen. Amazing, amazing. And this is your fourth day in the park. Fourth day, your in first visit to Disneyland Paris ever. Yeah, and it's amazing, unreal. Amazing, yeah. You're saying your favorite thing is hyperspace, hyperspace, my I'm a big Star Wars fan. Oh, so did you change your yesterday, fourth of May? Yeah, we got everything done on fourth of May, so it was perfect. Did you see all the like, were you spending most of your time in Discovery Land? Then? Yes, yeah. literally, pretty much all of yesterday, wasn't Kyler it? Kylo spoke to you, yeah, Kylo Ren, Kylo Ren spoke to me no as well. Way. I had a Kylo Ren t shirt what? on, and he came up and he was like, he was looking at my t-shirt and I was like, oh no, what am I doing? So I like moved my lanyard and he went, so right. And he walked away and I was like, yeah. Well, there you go, I got a moment. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, just pointed at that, yeah. Well, thank you so much for saying hi, guys. Yeah, enjoy the rest of your trip. They're Definitely. awesome. Definitely, enjoy your trip as well. Thank you. Anyway, we're in Frontierland now and <laughs> Goofy over there, Cowboy Goofy, just makes me smile so, so much. Um, we're going to see if we can potentially watch the Lion King show, which is at the Frontierland Theatre. Uh, there is one at 12 o'clock at midday, exactly, I believe, and it's currently about 20 minutes to 12 and you can see people have already started queuing so we'll have to see if we you know manage to get a space or not so we've joined the queue we're hoping for the best but we're also expecting the worst the worst isn't even going to be that bad if that makes sense uh, like i said the show is meant to start in like in 15 minutes time so in the next five or ten minutes or so we should hopefully know if we're going to be able to get a space in the theater or not it's quite a big theater to be fair so i think i think we should be okay on our way to the theater we found one of the disney ducks over there looking very cute also it does actually look like we should be okay the show starts in 10 minutes and uh, the, the queue keeps moving so we're in the theater now hello so not only are we in the theater we've got a pretty phenomenal view haven't yeah, we thanks really really cool view this is our view right now oh. kind of central <laughs> hello people want to say hi over there Woo. oh hello hi. <laughs> People are excited about the show. So this is our view and people are still coming through. I believe the middle section is actually reserved. So if you pay, because you can pay if you want to see the show just to guarantee your seat. I don't think it's worth it personally. I think you can just you know, queue like we did. Um, or maybe she starts queuing a little bit earlier if you're worried or if it's a particularly busy day. Also, I think because the theatre is quite wide and the stage is wide, the end seats are going to be a decent view. Yeah, I agree with you. I think, to be honest, any the theater, it's a big theatre, as you can see. So any any place would should be okay. Like I said, I personally would not pay for this. But I did want to give a quick shout out to one of my lovely cast member friends, Yasin, who I just saw on the way into the theatre. He was working outside the theatre. So Yasin, if you end up watching this, you're amazing. You're the best. And it's always a pleasure seeing you in the box.
um, in the middle of the show so the cast members are now trying to get people to still be you know energetic energized and not get annoyed or bored i think there might have been a technical difficulty or something and it looks like it's uh, back on again thankfully the stage is reopening <laughs> That show is honestly incredible. I highly recommend watching the Lion King show at the Frontierland Theatre if you're coming to Disneyland Paris in Frontierland. It is phenomenal. All the performers are so talented. If you love the Lion King, you're definitely gonna love this. It's just, it's almost like a West End show, but only just a little bit shorter, half an hour long instead of two and a half hours. What do you think, Rebecca? Yeah, First time seeing it. Yeah, really good. Yes, yeah, it's, it's really, would you recommend people seeing it if they're going yeah. to Disneyland Paris? I would recommend it as well. Um, this one's more of a show show compared to Festival Lion King's more family friendly because they have the children absolutely. joining in and they've got they like the the don't they have like actual like actual not Pumba but you know what I mean like uh, they there's have like, like, like animatronic or something yeah, yeah. yeah whereas yeah. this one is literally just performers like kind of in, in really awesome looking outfits so I, I agree with you yeah. that one the Florida one festival fans these more kid ch children child friendly this one's more of an adult show but I think children will still enjoy because of the songs you know if you like love the Lion King the children in the who were sorry I got distracted again the children who were at the high show were definitely enjoying it anyway we're just coming to Cowboy Cook out now just to get lunch because it's about quarter to 1 p.m. and actually Cowboy Cookout in Frontierland is probably one of my favorite quick service restaurants I would say just because the space is really cool there's loads of seating areas the food's pretty good as well I do have videos on uh, this restaurant as well just a dead one dedicated you know, solely to this bonjour um, so you can get a more of an idea of what it's like 
But yeah, it's mainly barbecue food, so it's not the best place for vegans or vegetarians. But if you like meat, it's definitely a really good place to come. So yeah, you can see the menus over there. Most quick services in Disneyland Paris have menus, and then you can get like a main course, a side, and also like a water to drink, for instance, and a dessert. Menu three, for instance, is a burger over there, which is probably what both me and Rebecca are going to go for today. But they do have a menu one and a two as well, and a four menu four, which is a sheriff menu. You can see the chicken there. They've got some salads too, so if you are vegetarian, salads could be an option for you. That's the sheriff menu over there, which I have also eaten. Again, you can see it in the video that I've linked down below. But the sheriff menu is really good. If you fancy just a lot of meat, the chicken's good, the ribs are good, the sausage is pretty good as well. It's just a nice, you know, nice meal for 17 euros to get your drink and your dessert as well. So we've got our food now, two burgers. Like I said, we both went for the same meal exactly. This is a pretty good burger, I would say, actually, in terms of quick service, one of the better burgers. There's an onion ring in there, or two onion rings, actually, comes with some fries. And we each got, like, the standard magnum as well for our desserts. Um, yeah, this is the dining room, really cool, and uh, yeah, we are gonna enjoy our food now. Well, lunch was good. We are now heading towards Discovery Land because Star Tours is one of the <laughs> lowest wait times at the moment. It's at 20 minutes to queue to get on the ride, and we haven't done Star Tours yet on this trip, so we thought, why not give it a go? Everything else seems to have a wait time of like at least 45 minutes. Most of the rides here are currently at about 60 minutes or 90 minutes, even some of them. Just bumping the lovely Michelle. Yeah, Michelle from the Netherlands. The Netherlands. Yeah. Awesome. And have you had a great day so far? Yeah, yeah. What's been the best thing that you've done? Um, Buzz Lightyear. Probably. Buzz Lightyear. Did you yeah. win? No. <laughs> I so said, you're like me. I always lose, but I still yeah. enjoy it. Even yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for saying hi, Michelle. Yeah, thank you so much. Lovely to meet you. Zoom in on a friends because they're taking a video of you, so zoom in on oh. them. <laughs> 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 lovely to meet you all. Thank you, Michelle. Thank Have you a lovely so day. Much. Say yeah, hi you to your too. friends as well. Yeah. Bye, bye bye. Change of plans. We are now going to leave the park, the main park, and go to the studios because my lovely friend Rebecca over here, yeah, she's yeah. only got about another hour and a bit left uh, before she has to get uh, go to the airport. And we want to see if we can get on Tower of Terror. Tower of Terror currently has a half an hour queue. We've seen it on the app for 30 minutes, which should work with the timings. But if we were to do Star Tours, which had a 35 minute queue, and then you know try to run over to the to the other to the studios, they may have been pushing it a bit. So yeah, we're prior yeah. yeah we're prioritizing yeah yeah because the tower. queue time as well goes up until you get through the barrier. Yeah. But then you've got to queue up the in actual like, attraction. Yeah, you've got to queue up in your lines by the ride, and, that's and then another there's the five actual minutes. ride, which is quite yeah. a long ride. As yeah. Well. Absolutely. Oh, there's Tigger there. Oh, cute. And here we are, Tower of Terror, our beloved Tower of Terror in front of us. Walt and Mickey here as well. There is a photo pass person as well. Hopefully, it would still be, still going to be half an hour. Maybe it might even be shorter. We're going to give it a go. Half an hour still, by the looks of it. I am so excited about this, guys. I am out of curiosity, though. They're going to start a time watch, a stopwatch, just to see um, just to see how long it actually ends up being, if it ends up being exactly half an hour, or if it's going to be a, bit, a little bit less, which is, of course, what we always hope for. So we've just uh, come into the inside area of the Tower of Terror queuing area. It felt it has felt pretty short, actually, and I did also bump into a few of you in the queue as well. I couldn't talk to you properly, but because, obviously, there's a zigzag queue, some of you just kept moving. Cubes kept moving. Moved everyone up. Indeed. But, um, yeah, quite a few of you um, said hi, so thank you so much. I think both from the... I, I met somebody from the Netherlands, um, and somebody just waved at me now as well, and we had a quick chat. And if you're that person, let me know in the comments down below. Sorry I didn't get to properly talk to you, obviously, because we're moving it's a bit of an awkward situation right now. We're basically here, Rebecca. Are you uh, a bit nervous, excited? <laughs> <laughs> so I've just stopped, the, I did a lap, which Rebecca told me what it is, to, uh, because it's been 16 minutes exactly to this front door now, which I think is what the, the official time is for them. This is where they stop the queue, what, for what they show on the queue times. But I'm going to keep it going to see how long it takes to actually go on the ride, which I presume is going to be another 10 minutes probably. that the queue for Tower of Terror. Yeah, I think you're right, it is, because there's basically two levels to queue for Tower of Terror. There's a chalk circle. Yeah, and that's where it is. Oh my god, have you gone Tower of Terror since... Uh, oh my god. You, when was the last time you went on the Tower of Terror? 2019, but what month? March? Yeah. Okay, I think in October of 2019 they changed it up a bit for Halloween of that year. And it's, um, I don't want to scare you, but it's a little bit creepier than it is used to be. There were people in front of us, there were two, but didn't get their hands up quick enough. What? There was a two in front of us that didn't get their hands up quick enough. So we're now waiting now. 
respective numbers. We're going to be on the back row, number three. This might be the last scene that you see before we're off the ride because I don't want to film on the ride. I don't no, think we can film on the ride. Yeah, people do that. Those of you who film on Tower of Terror in Disneyland Paris, why do you do it? They literally tell you not to. For your safety once on board, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened. That was intense. That was an intense sequence of drops. How did you find it? <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of drop. It was fun. Yeah. It, it dropped very like suddenly, like before we'd even done anything. And I, I've done yeah, the ride before, five three times. Before like the kind of pre-show stuff. It yeah. Was dropping before yeah. the pre-show had ended. So many drops. And there was more scenes to it. Yeah. But it was good. It was really, really good. <laughs> Here's a little look at the construction of Avengers Campus coming this summer. Is what they're still saying. We don't have a date yet but you can see there's people working here. I mean, a lot of it has, is more or less done to be honest. The building over there for Web Slinger, the Spider-Man ride, um, so many of the things. <laughs> Could you hear me? Could you hear what I was talking about from there, from that distance? How have we got such a good... We were quite far away. I was wondering why you did this way, yeah. Rebecca's got really good ears. The, 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 the trees, yeah, they look pretty cool. I, I'm genuinely very excited to see how, uh, how it's going to be once they open this up. Well, the time has sadly come for my friend Rebecca to leave. It's been an amazing past couple of days. I'm going to still continue to vlog a little bit, maybe for another 5-10 minutes or so, just because obviously it's only about 3.30pm, so I'm still going to be spending a few more hours in the park before I check into my new hotel. I'm going to be checking it to Newport Bay, because obviously I left, we left the uh, hotel that is there earlier this morning. I'm going to have to get my bag. It's going to be, it's going to be exciting. I'm very, 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 very privileged and lucky to be able to continue my trip and go to a new hotel almost as if I'm like starting my, you know, adventures again. Rebecca, darling. Thank Hello. You, thank you for being in the vlogs for the past few days and You're just being here welcome. with me. Um, anyone as well, if you remember Rebecca from the olden days? For some people will we'll remember. What was the last time you would have been in a video? Probably 2019 Florida? we went to. Oh. We went to the Birmingham Pri uh, Primark. Was it 18 or 2019? Anyway, a last May 19. Last Disney trip that would have been, as you said, oh, Disney yeah. World, last Florida, Disney trip in, uh, was Florida 2017. 2017. So, but some of you have already messaged me on Instagram saying that you have been subscribed to my channel since then. So it means a lot yeah. to me. Really, really cool. People know who I am. Yeah, Rebecca's <laughs> like, oh, very cute. But yeah, any last words of wisdom before you part ways? Don't eat yellow snow. Okay, thank you. <laughs> to listen listen, listen to that, other, kids. <laughs> doesn't think of any other words of wisdom, to be honest. <laughs> That's quite good to be good advice. So I've just bumped into the lovely Noelle. Noelle. And Laura, do you want to say that as well? <laughs> You're from the Netherlands. We're from the Netherlands. And yes. what's been the best thing you've done today so far in today, the past? Ooh, everything. You said you great. met Pluto? Yes, we, we made pictures. He gave us a hug Cute. and kisses. Aww. He made us in love again. Aww, <laughs> Pluto's a great dog. <laughs> She's okay. the best, she's the best. He gives great tips. Thank you so much. That's so kind and you're, you're amazing as well. Thank you for saying hi. It means oh, a lot. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you for your time. Thank you. And success. Thank you so much. Well, I'm now making my way back towards Disneyland Park just to see if there's any brides potentially that I might, you know, still want to do or some characters or something. I have had a quick look at the app just to see what the estimate is for some of the ride times here. The queue times are still pretty long. Um, this week, as I've mentioned in the previous two videos from this uh, May 2022 series. It's quite a busy week with Disneyland Paris because a lot of European countries have holidays around this time. Um, the Netherlands, I believe, is off this week and the following week um, and some other European countries as well. So it's really important to take that into consideration actually because the UK is not on holiday. So the UK had their bank holiday on Monday a few days ago and there's no other holiday at the moment. I mean, schools are meant to be going on as far as I'm aware. But Disneyland Paris obviously being an international you know, location, destination, it's definitely always worth checking other holidays as well from other countries nearby especially the you know, European countries. I was honestly a little bit sad about my friend Rebecca leaving just because I mean with Covid and things still going on I don't know when I'm going to see her again but we've got the beautiful castle in front of us right now and just looking at this view is making me feel a little bit better and I think I'm going to make my way towards Fantasyland because Fantasyland has quite a lot of rides even though it's small world is closed at the moment it does still have quite a lot of cute rides that because there's loads of rides there sometimes it means that there will be at least one or two that has a slightly lower wait time. <laughs> So, get ready to dream with eyes wide open as our celebration dream at Shine Brighter will begin in just a few moments. As you just heard now, um, 
Dream and Shine Writer is going to start very, very soon. Um, they have this show on the 30th anniversary show parade thing quite a few times throughout the day, and I love it. I, I've seen it so many times already, and I'm not sick of it, and I, I don't think I ever would be. The songs are so catchy. I just love it. It's an amazing show. We saw it earlier, Rebecca and I, but um, on this trip, I haven't actually watched it on Main Street yet. I would recommend to watch it by the castle, like in the Central Plaza area, right in the middle, where I watched it yesterday. So check out my vlog from yesterday if you want to see the best place that I think you should be in to watch to have the best experience of the show but the show is so good that really no matter where you watch it from you're still gonna have a great time and I haven't watched it from uh, Main Street USA yet on this trip so I'm on Main Street anyway there's loads of space uh, so why not why not just wait for it and just wave at the characters as they go past and enjoy the music before I go to Fantasyland wondering where are you Sam you said you were gonna to go to Fancyland and go on a couple of rides if you find some that have low waiting times well I am in Fancyland I am actually currently just in front of Auberge de Cendrillon which is the princess dining restaurant here and I am gonna hopefully go on some rides or something or do something in Fancyland but as I was walking past La Repenchante which is basically one of the little snack areas uh, by the carousel in Fancyland it just my heart wanted something sweet and I saw this which hopefully will do what it needs to do this little Suset they call them like a little lollipop but it's a marshmallow chocolate lollipop in the shape of Mickey which is adorable so I thought why not get one of this I also got myself one hot chocolate because I haven't had a hot chocolate on this trip yet I've been here for a few days now and I haven't had hot chocolate which is quite weird for me so yeah that's gonna be my plan of action for now just enjoy the little lollipop thing Mickey lollipop and I might even take my hot chocolate with me like on a walk as I walk around fancy land trying to decide what to do but for now I'm just gonna Mm. Yeah, this is exactly what I needed right now. Well, that marshmallow lollipop thing was cute. What's not cute though is the situation in front of me. I genuinely miss this small world so, so much. And as you can see, this is going to be quite a long renovation period. I'm pretty sure this is going to be closed in small world at least until about October or November of 2022. So who knows when I'm going to be able to go back on one of my favorite rides ever again. <laughs> I mean, it could even be next year, I hope not. You know it's a busy day in Disneyland Paris when even Alice's Labyrinth, the maze, has a queue. And it's like 5 o'clock now, it's 5 p.m. The main parade, Stars on Parade, should be starting in the next half an hour. So normally, this is a good time to do some rides. And I, I can guarantee that the queues for the rides will get a little bit shorter once the parade actually starts a half, in, in half an hour's time. But just like to see, see so many crowds, even now, it's still pretty crazy, not going to lie. I was hoping to go on Dumbo because it's one of those classic rides that, especially in Disneyland Paris I just think it's such a magical attraction and I haven't been on it since uh, last June I think was the last time I went on it but the queue for this is currently about 45 minutes and I'm not sure I've got the patience to wait for Dumbo today that long um, normally I don't mind but the past few days that's been quite full on for me like uh, yesterday if you haven't watched the video from yesterday's vlog uh, we were in the parks from about 8 30 a.m. until like 11 p.m. we went back to our hotel for like just an hour a quick nap and then we were back in the park and I haven't done a long day like that in a long long time I checked my Apple watch when we got back to the hotel and we well I both of us Rebecca and I probably Rebecca even more than me uh, we'd walked about 22,000 steps that's a lot so I just bumped into the lovely Gavin and Brittany 
Where are you guys from? Belgium. I love the spirit jersey that Brittany's wearing. Can I see the back? So cool, 100 acre woods, amazing. Not something I've seen before. And what's been the best thing you've done on your trips so far? Ooh. Pirates was really fun this morning. Yeah. We really love pirates. Same. I really enjoyed um, Hyperspace Mountain. Oh, it was yeah. my first time. Last what time I was it? here it was under maintenance. Oh, okay. And so coming back and it's quite intense. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> it wakes it's a good way to wake up actually, isn't it? Oh. And if I'm if I'm really honest, uh, the dragon under Cinderella's castle. No, it is cool. Under Sleeping Beauty's castle. Ah uh, sorry, Sleeping Beauty's wow. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. She was gonna roast well, me so no. <laughs> Rose Gavin, no, please don't. They're awesome. I'm joking. No, that is cool. It's, it's like a really cool yeah. animal song. Yeah. I agree. It was super I agree. Mean. Well, thank you for saying hi. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of your life. Lovely meeting her. She's <laughs> yes. amazing. If you Thanks. don't already Please. follow, subscribe. Oh, check out her below. channel. Thank you so <laughs> much. She knows what she's about. Thank you very much, guys. It means a lot. Thank you. So, it is about quarter past 6 pm, and I think it's time to leave the park, get my suitcase, and check into my new hotel, Newport Bay. I'm feeling pretty tired as well. I don't know why. Like I said, I feel like the past couple of days have just taken it out from me. And it's the next day. I never ended the vlog yesterday. I think I was just too tired again. I came and, you know, checked into my new hotel which is the Newport Bay Hotel for this trip. Um, I also ended up watching the fireworks from my room which is so so cool. You can see some footage of it right now. The room is absolutely gorgeous. It's one of the best rooms I've stayed at on Disney property I would say. It is club level so it's Compass Club at Newport Bay. There'll be a whole video on Compass Club as well and all the perks you get with it as well so make sure you're subscribed to check that out when it's released. But before I end this video I did want to give you one last look of the view from this hotel room in the daylight it is absolutely incredible you can literally see the castle down there um, all the way down there you've got the airfield tower you've got tower of terror over here you can see people walking by you've got lake disney it is absolutely stunning honestly i'm so lucky to be staying here but thank you so much for watching this video again i have lost my voice a little bit and i think that's because of all the screaming i did on tower of terror <laughs> yesterday it's been an amazing few days i'm going to continue vlogging some different vlogs in the next few days that i'm staying here so like i said make sure you're subscribed but thank you to my friend rebecca as well it was really awesome to be in a disney park again together after about five or six years we used to do Disney trips quite a lot together so kind of meeting up again after the pandemic in a Disney park and in Disneyland Paris which is obviously my favorite of all the Disney parks was very very special but yeah I appreciate you for watching this video follow me on Instagram as well if you want to and uh, I'll see you in the next one bye bye